today we are going to be tackling one of the most confusing things on Disney Cruise Line. And trust me, I know, because I get comments about it almost every day. And honestly, Disney does not make it any easier because they never explain it to you. But that's what you have me for. And if you stick around to the end, I'll give you my top five tips to make your trip as easy as possible. And actually, we reached out to a few crew members that are currently on board the ships to see what their perspectives are. So what are we even talking about here? Well, veteran Disney cruisers will know that when you board a Disney cruise ship, you are assigned three different Disney employees or crew members whose sole job is to make your stay the best it can be. Two of the people on your three-person team will be the server and an assistant server. They will be your dedicated service team when you eat dinner each night and will rotate with you through each of the main dining rooms for dinner and your stateroom host. Technically, there's a fourth person that is the head server. You don't see him very much. So once you get on a Disney Cruise Line ship, you are going to notice that they have a secret language. You may notice that your servers are a little stressed out and this is because of that secret language. They want to make sure that you understand the differences between five stars and four stars and how that's different from ratings that you might give on a normal day-to-day -day situation at home. At the main dining room in the evening, your servers almost every time will be sure to tell you that they want to make sure that you have five star service excellent service. And you might hear it more than once because that is their secret language that is very important for the crew members. And honestly for us as well because we want to have a great vacation. And your job is to communicate effectively with your stateroom host and servers. If there's something that's not working for you, let them know. It's a win-win situation if we share any issues that we are having with our team. They get to address it, which lets them know that they are taking care of us. And we're happy because we're having a fabulous vacation. If you did not have a great stay, a four-star rating will say that. And I just want to repeat that for anyone that may be passively listening. A four-star, very good review is a bad review on Disney Cruise Line. Good, very good, really mean, average or less than average, subpar, it's got to be five stars, excellent service. And you might be asking yourself, what do you mean review? And what they are talking about is the survey that you're going to get in your stateroom on the last night of the cruise. This is where you are going to rate your servers and your stateroom host as well as your experience. You're going to want to make sure and fill that out completely. You can give all of your feedback to Disney Cruise Line. Now where this gets tricky is actually with the rating system for how you rate your team. And Disney does their best to make it confusing. And trust me, even for me the first few times, I was a little confused. But here's the easiest way I can explain it. Let's use something like Uber as an example. If you call Uber on your phone and the ride was above and beyond, it was the best Uber ride you've ever taken, you would be ecstatic and you would rate it five stars for excellent service. For service on Disney Cruise Line, they have the same rating system. One is awful, five is excellent, but the ratings mean an entirely different thing. And most people will walk onto a Disney ship with the preset expectations of how to rate someone from places like Uber and DoorDash, where if someone has just a normal service or below average service, you would rate maybe three to four stars for good or very good. On Disney Cruise Line, if it is a normal service, and we're talking average normal service. Nothing went wrong. A normal cruise where they didn't necessarily go above and beyond, but there was no bad things. On Disney, that's a five star. With Disney Cruise Line, excellent means average because their absolute baseline is submitting excellent service at all times. And just to make a little bit more confusing, you will often hear them say five stars, five stars, five stars, where the document you're going to fill out will say excellent, good, very good, etc. And if they do go above and beyond, you'll want to note that specifically and you can do that with the comment card and potentially with money or a gift. But if you want to leave a tip and you don't have the extra money in your budget, you can fill out a comment card to let their bosses know how well they're doing and make sure you add their full name to that comment card. But only your four person team will be reviewed on the survey at the end of your stay. And pro tip, the full names of these four people should be on the tip cards that you will receive that last day along with the survey. While you are noting the information, make sure you get the crew member's full name, home and where the crew member was stationed aboard the ship. During your cruise, you are quickly going to discover that it is the crew members that make it such a magical experience. And I promise you, you will want to acknowledge many people once you are on board. The ships are fun. They're decorated amazing. They've got great themes, but it truly is the cast members that make it such a magical experience. Otherwise, it's just a cruise ship. Yes, a beautifully themed one, but again, it's all about the crew members. And actually, we reached out to a few 
few crew members that are currently on board the ships to see what their perspectives are and ask them what type of recognition they like to receive. They said it really depends on the department. Personally, for that crew member, receiving a magical interaction is so appreciated. Comment cards and mentions in emails on surveys as well, they're all good. And it's really great to let the crew member know directly when they are just really making the experience magical for you and your family. Those interactions are what make their days worth being away from their family. And just making them feel like they're not too far from them makes it more magical for the crew on board, which is fabulous. We definitely want to do that. I did ask about gifts because some people like to give gifts. Here's the thing to really consider with that though. Anything you give them, they either have to get rid of or take home. They have a very small area in their crew cabins. So something like a golden Mickey from the show or maybe a little craft or a snack, these can be good things to relay your appreciation. But it's really the written notes, the cards, and the responses to the bosses that is so valuable. And honestly, make sure you let that crew member know because if you just go put it on the surface, survey or a comment card, they'll find out. But having a thank you card or even just a verbal thank you from a guest on board is really a magical acknowledgement for them. And I am all about making magic for the crew whenever possible because they just truly make the trip amazing. And I promise you, you will want to acknowledge them once you are on board. And if you want to send something via email, that email is dcl.guest.communications at disney.com. But only your four person team will be reviewed on the survey at the end of your stay. And don't leave the survey for last either. It gets so rushed for the last night and debarkation, you don't want to add those dynamics to the very end of your cruise, especially that last morning. That is not the time to do it. And this is the survey where you will rate them. The survey will be left with the tip cards in your stateroom by your stateroom host on the last day of the cruise. And if you did not have a great stay on the cruise, a four star rating will let them know that. So it is definitely a different system where again excellent is your baseline that's average service nothing went wrong so there are three different ways to acknowledge the crew members. First is the survey. The survey is where you're going to have that five star excellent rating dynamic that will be for your dedicated team as well as your experience and locations on the ship. If you want to acknowledge someone from your dedicated team on the survey, you will need to get some paper and attach that with the survey. They could become separated though. Second, my favorite is to get comment cards from guest services, fill it in while on the ship, or to send an email once we are off the ship. And this is a great way to recognize a crew member to their boss. And of course, you can always send that email when you get home. I really like that option because you're going to get a direct response. They have just recently created these online surveys and are currently in the testing process. They are not available on every ship just yet. Some people also like to acknowledge the crew directly and will bring thank you cards on board. And those are cards that you're going to give directly to that crew member, letting them know how much you appreciated it and how they made your cruise magical. So now let's address the elephant in the room, which is tips. If you're someone who is taking a Disney cruise and you only have a set amount of tips, or maybe potentially you've prepaid your tips, but you still find somebody on the cruise that went above and beyond your expectations, that is where you can note them on a comment card. And that is effectively a tip. But in their job. They don't necessarily get extra money from it, but because of how seriously Disney Cruise Line takes their service reviews, if you do find yourself in that position, a comment card is a fantastic way to let someone's boss know that they did incredibly well. And they don't even get the comment card first, their bosses do. You can always let the head server know as well, but that can be easy to forget. A comment card is a physical, long-lasting form of recognition for how well they did. Again, five stars means nothing went wrong, and if there is something going wrong with anything thing in your stay, make sure and let your servers, your stateroom hosts, whoever it is know. They would much rather you address it with them as soon as possible. They want you to have a magical cruise. If something is not clicking for you, let them know. Because I promise they would much rather have a conversation with you about what could be changed than with their boss about what they didn't do. And as anyone who has been on a Disney ship will know, you end up talking to hundreds of crew members over the course of your stay. If you want to highlight anyone's service on the entire ship, you will do that with the comment cards we mentioned earlier. The comment cards do work for the entire ship, but only your three-person team will be reviewed at the end of the stay. Now, if you really loved someone's service, you may want to tip someone monetarily, but depending on their position on the ship, they may not even be able to accept it. So again, the comment card system really is Disney's secret language. 
Now that you understand everything about the rating process, these are my favorite things to do once we hop on board to make everything run as magically and smoothly as possible. The first time that I see one of my three team members, I say, don't worry, we totally get it. It's beyond excellent. It's 10 stars. We know how these surveys work and we are happy to give you excellent ratings. If there is anything that we think is not quite excellent, we will make sure and address that with you. That gets across to them that you understand the comment card system and how very important it is for them. The second thing I do is take a picture of their name tag. That way you know their first and last name, how it's spelled, and where they're from. You will be very happy you did this when it's time to make those reviews. And while you're making the notes of the name, make any other quick notes about the service that you want to highlight. It is easy to forget that as you go through the days. Number three is make sure to ask your server's recommendations and try a few. This conveys that you value their input and you might find a new favorite. For example, the last time we were on The Wonder at Animator's Palette, our server suggested this thyme chicken. It was so good. And so was this dessert, the warm sticky date pudding. Based on the name, I wouldn't have ordered it. They suggested it. It's one of the best desserts on the ship. Number four, don't leave that comment card until the end of the cruise because there's a lot of detail on it. You know how it gets at disembarkation. Everything gets really rushed. It's easy to forget stuff. So make the notes as you go. Once that survey is in your stateroom, I would fill that out right away so you can keep enjoying the rest of your last day of the cruise, but still take care of the documentation there, which leads me into our last tip. There is not a lot of room on these surveys. Sometimes there will be paper in the drawer in your stateroom. Otherwise, you can get paper from guest services. If there's anybody that you want to make sure and note especially, write it on that paper and attach it with the survey. If you got off the ship and you didn't do that before you left, no problem. There is the possibility of submitting the crew member reviews through the website, or you can submit them via email, which is nice because then you get a response back. And if you really want something specific while you were on the cruise, just say something to them. They will get it. We were at dinner one evening. My son asked for a pencil and our assistant server actually left the restaurant to find one. Before he did, he let the other server know so they could keep an eye out for us. But he went and found a pencil. He didn't bring a pen because he asked for a pencil. And so he went and found it for him. And one thing that we did notice with the head server is I wanted to get, I absolutely love the potato and leek soup on board. So we asked the head server if we could could get a copy of that recipe. I'm pretty sure they went and printed this out just for us to take it home. And as a matter of fact, I just made that soup this week. It's so good. And just a tip, we use chicken broth and milk instead of cream just makes it a bit healthier. So unless your servers mess up, they get five stars. Five stars is the bare minimum. You should not put anything lower unless you are displeased with something. And again, if you are displeased, make sure and let your servers know, your stateroom hosts know. They really do want to take care of that for you. And if you give less than excellent, that five star rating, you are essentially telling Telling their boss. And while we don't have any official word from Disney on the exact repercussions of what less than an excellent review means, I can tell you from personal experience that every crew member on the ship, they would much rather have a conversation with you about how they can get excellent ratings than have a conversation with their boss about why they didn't. Because if you give less than excellent ratings, you're saying something is wrong. And please, if you enjoy these videos, share them with a friend. If you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, there is going to be a ton of new information coming out about new Disney cruise ships. We've got some news coming at you pretty quick. If you want to dive into the actual tips on board, we have this video for that. And if you haven't seen it yet, go check out the information on the Disney adventure coming to Singapore next year.